Emrio Collaborative Tribal Restoration Initiative is to help restore and bring back not only healthy trees, but also a new growth of trees to replace the old ones. Ever since I can remember, when the acorn season came, that was one of the main things that our family wanted to do was make sure that they got their acorn crop in. What they would do is just pack up the old truck and practically move almost and have a campsite close to a grove where the acorns were plentiful and we would stay two or three days, sleep there, camp out, and pick acorns all day long. My aunts and my other cousins, we'd all be there and being boys and being the youngest, we used to be climbing up the trees to shake them so that the acorn would fall. Every time we picked, we ate the acorn and tasted it, you know. And since it tasted so good, we just continued to uh, pick and eat. That was the good old days, and today we still do that because it's fun. We laugh, we joke around, we sing as we're picking any kind of songs. But now, I think a lot of that is not here anymore, meaning it's kind of hard to, to find really good acorn. Tribal elders discussed how they were endangered, that the trees that were living were old trees, that there are no, no new young ones to replace them. And so they were very concerned that a very vital food source in our way of life was going to disappear. When Vincent brought this up, you know, I had to listen to what he had to say because he actually knows far more about these embryo groves than I ever do, even though I'm a trained forester. Because of human uh, intervention in the ecosystem, the introduction of cattle, and because of overgrazing, what used to be grassland becomes now filled with chaparral and it chokes out the emery oak. So we have all different kinds of conditions, and then we also have the situation of the warming of the climate. At this point, I use my forestry knowledge to think about, okay, well, what are some things that we can do on the ground to help improve the health of individual trees so that they start producing acorns? What are ways that we can treat the entire grove so that we get more regeneration coming back? We pulled together kind of a collaborative advisory board um, consisting of elders and foresters and silviculturalists. We basically have almost everything to learn. We're going to find out whether burning, how important burning is and prescribed burns and prescribed fires. We're looking at diseases and pests across our populations to see if they're playing a role in affecting the survival and reproduction of these trees. We are going to look to see how important it is to exclude herbivores like cattle, deer, elk. And so we're, we're gonna learn a, a lot about these species. Every step of the way, we keep the tribes involved and we're doing everything in a way that they think is appropriate and sensitive and beneficial. The primary focus of the project, of course, is the emery oak. But hopefully, through the consultation and through listening to tribal members, especially the elders, who can remember how things used to be back in the old days, that the Forest Service would listen and begin to understand and see the responsibility of how they can take care of the land just as we used to look at it in our own way. In Arizona, the Forest Service has partnered with tribes to create the Emory Oak Collaborative Tribal Restoration Initiative, a conservation program focused on restoring Emory Oak habitat. The goal of the initiative is to ensure that this precious resource is around for future generations of Apache people.